World affairs and national politics are given new turns by Henry Cabot Lodge's announced departure from South Vietnam. Mr. Lodge, here in earlier conference with Defense Secretary McNamara, Secretary of State Rusk, and President Johnson, resigned as ambassador to help Governor Scranton's bid for the Republican presidential nomination. The president turns to the Pentagon to fill Mr. Lodge's place. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff is now succeeded by General Earl Wheeler. General Maxwell Taylor is named new ambassador to South Vietnam. General Taylor, who has gone often to that most troublesome of trouble spots, and General Wheeler, as Army Chief of Staff under him for the past two years, have worked closely together in this and other crises. The appointment of the nation's top military figure, who is also a skilled diplomatic negotiator to the Saigon Post, underscores the adamant Southeast Asia stand taken by the President. Mr. Johnson has recently warned the communist world of America's determination to keep this part of the world free. He restates his country's purpose. Our people in South Vietnam are helping to protect people against terror. They are also helping, and they will help more, in increasing agricultural production, in expanding the medical help, and in building a sense of hope for the good people of South Vietnam. They are helping, and they will help more, to give confidence to those who seek to help themselves, and modern equipment to those who can use it, and friendly counsel to those who are giving leadership. 